Hi, and welcome to my third posting on this blog about learning how to play guitar, acoustic guitar specifically. And in, in this uh, posting, I'm going to talk a bit about how do you go about getting the information that you need. Now, if you don't know how to do something, you've got to get information as to how to do it from somewhere. So learning guitar is learning a new skill. And like any skill, you need to know where to start. And once you get started, Along the way, you're going to need some guidance so that you know whether what you're doing is right or wrong. So where do you get the information that you need to get started? And where do you get the guidance that you need along the way? You know, and you have to ask yourself, well, what kind of knowledge and guidance and information syncs up with the way that you want to learn and also is appropriate to the amount of time that you're going to have to put into this? So we're going to look at a few options and I'll talk a little bit about my own um, online guitar course in a moment. Uh, but let's talk about the various ways that people go about getting this information to get started and so forth. So first of all, you know, maybe there's somebody around you who's a fairly accomplished guitarist and can teach you. You know, maybe you were lucky enough to be born into a musical family or maybe you have a close friend who can play well and who's willing to spend some time teaching you. And many people learn that way. Uh, in fact, over the years, I've learned a lot from friends, you know, trading tips here and there. But uh, that can be a bit hit or miss. And not all of us have such people around us, uh, you know, especially when we need them. So, well, what else can I think about doing? Well, we have this great resource, the internet, and a lot of people think, well, maybe I can just self-teach. You know, that does have an appeal. Uh, there's no pressure, no structure. It's self-paced. You can study whenever you want just by grazing on uh, internet videos, maybe on YouTube. And that can be kind of fun. However, what you're going to find is that there are thousands of guitar instructional videos to choose from. And there's a pretty big quality range. So if you don't already play, how do you know which ones are good? And there's a little bit of an element of you get what you pay for there. I mean, many people who post YouTube videos are trying to get views uh, to monetize these videos. And they're not really thinking so much about how well you're learning. Um, also, the subject matter of these videos often can be you know, pretty random, like you might see a random tip or uh, kind of an isolated technique, kind of out of sequence, or specific songs. And you might be learning from people that, uh, have, quite frankly, have learned maybe bad habits and, are, and are, are kind of teaching you those same bad habits. Um, or they're teaching you a very specific song that you're maybe painfully learning, but you don't understand the techniques underlying them. And what I've found is it's far better to learn to play the instrument itself and then you can play any song that you want. So it's out there. There's lots of videos you can learn from, but you know, there's, there's, those are some things to think about. So you might think, well, if you know, kind of going it alone and doing kind of random, you know, internet video grazing isn't the right thing. What about going to the other extreme and, and doing something very formal, like taking in-person private lessons? Well, that can be a very great way to learn. Um, if you have the right teacher, um, you know, nowadays there are even teachers who are teaching online, private lessons online using things like Skype. But you still have to find a good teacher that you get along with and is available at a convenient time for you and is willing to adapt to your learning style and your pace of learning. Also, many people find that regular scheduled private lessons can be intimidating and stressful. You know, it's hard to keep your schedule coordinated with your teacher and um, also sometimes these lessons can be like an hour long and if you've only practiced 15 or 20 minutes every few days, um, you know, maybe that's not the right kind of instruction for you. So, but those are, that's an option. Private lessons is always an option. Another thing you could consider doing is enrolling in some kind of credit bearing course, maybe even in person. You could do it at a community college uh, or you could do an online credit bearing course or a very specific course like that. 
But even with these courses, there will be a time commitment and it's not at your pace, it's at the course's pace. There may be a bit more structure than you want and a set schedule with assignments and so on. And it just may not be a particularly fun way for you to learn and it can get pretty expensive. So that brings us to kind of what I've been thinking about um, with my course. I mean, the right option for any person will, will take into consideration their own attitude towards learning to play and also the amount of time that they have available to play. I know that people who are learning guitar want to have fun and enjoy, but they also want to make progress. So you've got to balance all those factors. So I created this course, The Beginner's Guide to Acoustic Guitar at Artistworks, and it strikes kind of a balance between all of these learning factors. It is a course, but it is self-paced, and it is paced in a way that's very uh, gentle and appropriate to adult beginners. It's designed to get you playing very specific songs, and the songs will be fun to play and familiar to you. But I also teach all of the underlying techniques to the songs so that once you learn them, you can play any song that you choose. And unlike any of the other online courses, with my course, you can optionally get personalized guidance from me whenever you want it via the ArtistWorks video exchange approach. So I've been playing guitar my whole life and I love sharing what I know. And I try to keep in mind that learning guitar shouldn't require you to feel stressed or pressure. So you should choose the instruction style that best fits your learning style and that suits your expectations. Whatever you choose, I'll help you go ahead and get started on your journey. Because believe me, there just cannot be too much guitar playing in the world.